So then I'm gonna show you how to reinstall Torp Recovery, right, uh, once you install a custom ROM. Now if you install a custom ROM and you try to boot into Recovery, you'll get the Sinogen Mod Recovery, which you can't install another ROM with. So to prevent this, um, you can actually flash the Torp zip file after flashing the ROM. Um, so next time you won't have to connect it to your computer. But once you lost Torp by installing a new ROM, on the Pixel or the Pixel XL, you will have to reinstall uh, Torp Recovery. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. All right, you'll notice here Sinogen Mod Recovery, right, which is what you don't want um, to install a new ROM. Uh, let me go ahead and power off and show you from the beginning. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall Torp and also reinstall a new ROM. I'll walk you through the process. Uh, first, you'll need to hold down volume down and the power and get into fast boot mode. All right, once you're in fast boot mode, I'm going to connect it to our computer and let's go to our computer. All right, guys, what you'll need to do is download fastboot.zip, unzip it. You'll get a folder called fastboot uh, with all the files you need. Whoops, let me erase all this. All right, guys, first thing you want to download is twerp.zip uh, file. Uh, for Pixel XL, it's Marlin rc1.zip. And also, you'll need to download the IMG file, rc1.img. If you have the regular Pixel, download the Sailfish IL, uh, IMG and Sailfish RC1. Now, the zip file should go onto the storage of your Pixel or Pixel XL. And next, we're going to go ahead and do a copy, right click copy on the image file. Uh, for your Pixel. So I have Pixel XL, so I'm gonna uh, copy the Marlin. All right, if you have regular Pixel, copy the Sailfish. And I'm going to the Fastboot directory. All right, you should have unzipped the Fastboot.zip. And you should uh, paste the uh, IMG file here. Now we're gonna boot into it. Go ahead and type CMD. Um, you can also use Linux or Mac. I'll have the instructions on my site. Uh, go to CD Downloads, go to CD Fastboot, and next you're gonna go ahead and type Fastboot. Oops. Flash, uh, sorry, Fastboot space boot space, and we're gonna type uh, twerp the IMG file name. What this will do is boot us into twerp recovery. All right? The, re the reason why we're doing this is because with Pixel, um, Google has secured it a little bit more, meaning that you can't directly flash uh, Torp uh, using Fastboot. So what you'll need to do, uh, here we go, to get permanent Torp, you'll have to install uh, the file. Now if you're installing a new ROM, um, you can just go ahead and install a ROM from here, right? So, uh, what you can do is go ahead and install ROM and reboot and pretty much done. Or uh, but we will do this, we'll, we'll do this one by one. All right, uh, if you get a bunch of letters like this, like me, um, you have to, you're gonna have to do a, a wipe data because your phone has encrypted. I don't know why, um, so this will erase everything. So at this point, if you need to back up everything, go ahead and back up everything. So I'm gonna actually do a wipe. I'm gonna go to format data, say yes. All right, this will erase everything on your phone. Because your phone's encrypted, you're gonna have to uh, redo this. All right, um, and then go to reboot and go to the bootloader. And we'll reboot the twerp, the same command we did before. So I'm back here. I'm gonna connect it back to my computer, repeat the command, fast boot, boot twerp. All right, this will boot me back into twerp. Now this is the reason why you should flash Torp uh, after installing the ROM, which I'll show you here. All right, now if I go to install, there's nothing there. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it, copy over the uh, the zip version of the Torp, so I can copy it over. All right, I'm gonna go back to my downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and copy over uh, the Marlin RC1.zip for Pixel XL. Uh, it is Sailfish RC1.zip for regular Pixel. And I'm gonna go into my internal storage and paste it. All right, once copied over, go back to your phone. Now you should be able to install 
Corp, uh, Marlin, blah, blah, dot zip, or for sale fish, the regular. I'm gonna install twerp. This will install twerp permanently, all right? And now you have twerp. Now, after you install ROM, you'll want to install the same zip file because it will override it. So we're gonna just do a reboot recovery. Just make sure now it's permanent on our phone. All right, and if you want to install a new ROM, you should have copied over uh, your ROM file. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it back, copy over the ROM and Google Apps. All right, guys, you should have copied over your ROM, uh, also the G apps, and make sure you have the Tor Pixel installer. All right, uh, we're gonna just do a simple factory reset. We're gonna go ahead and install the ROM, your Nexus, uh, for this one here. All right, and then we're gonna install the G apps, and then we're gonna install Twerp. Uh, because if you forget to do that, you will lose Twerp and end up with Cyanogen mod recovery that you can't use to install another ROM. Um, and it, it's going to encrypt and we're, you're going to have to delete everything again. But this way, next time you install a ROM, you'll have Twerp. You won't have to um, delete your whole data. All right, once that's done, we're going to do install and the G apps. All right, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and install uh, Twerp Pixel Installer, uh, the zip, Twerp zip file. All right, this will give us Twerp back no matter what. And it's done, and we're gonna reboot. And that should be final, and we should have a new ROM uh, with the working Twerp. All right, guys, I got it booted, it's working well. Let me go ahead and sign in. All right, you can see LT working just fine. Um, just to prove that my recovery is still working, let's go ahead and reboot into Twerp. And boom shakalaka, we got Twerp. I'm just gonna keep it read only for now. And I have access to everything. All right, that's how you can install a new ROM, uh, also install Twerp, and also prevent um, not being able to install a new ROM. That should be free. So every time you install a new ROM, make sure you install the Twerp zip file at the end. Um, that way you'll have access to Twerp um, no matter where you go. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I um, also have a quick review of the Pure Nexus soon. I will see you guys soon as always. Stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.